Greetings. This is a tutorial on how to graph data with a linear trend. First, if you recall in your math class, you're going to need two columns of data. Your first column is your x data. So if we were to graph time in units of seconds on the x-axis, change in distance in units of meter on the y-axis, we can start to plot some data. And let's just make up some values. Uh, time in increments of one second, zero, one, two, three, four, five seconds. And if the motion described started at zero meters and went to two, four, six, eight, ten. Very simple. Uh, if you wanted to plot these as a set of points, a scatter plot, first thing is to highlight both sets of data. Second, select insert into a chart. When you get your choice of charts, a chart editor will appear on the right. Here's your chart editor on the right. Chart type. You want to scroll through your options until you find Scatter. Select Scatter. And all of your points will appear. Distance on the y-axis, time on the x-axis, and your title, distance versus time, as it should be. To customize the chart in the chart editor on the right, you can change the chart style. You can change the title. Um, you can adjust the horizontal axis title, vertical, vertical axis title. Um, ours is labeled properly already since we put the information into the data columns. And if you open up the series, you can add a trend line. And if you choose the type of trend line to be linear, Below that, you can choose Label, Use Equation, and it will magically place an equation here where it says 2x plus 0. That's slope-intercept form for a linear equation. y equals 2x plus 0. 2 is the slope. 0 is the intercept. So this is an mx plus b form. And therefore, the trend between every pair of points is a rise of 2, a run of 1, a slope of 2. These points are all collinear. This data was perfect, idealized, uh, and if you were to look at error bars, you would notice there's none. They all lie on the line. We will show another example with data that is not ideal, that does have some error, uh, but this is the simplest way to get a linear trend.